Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. This week's pregnancy workout is an advanced pregnancy workout. We're gonna start off with a warm up. We're gonna do a Tabata hit cardio and strength section and a really nice stretch at the end. Tabata is 20 seconds of movement with a 10 second setup. So it helps the exercises go really fast and it's a really fun style of workout to do. You don't need any equipment for this workout. However, for some of the moves, I am going to add the option of some dumbbells. I have some five, three and two pound dumbbells. You could also just grab some water bottles or do the arm movements with no weights at all. This workout is safe for all trimesters. Of course, check with your doctor or your provider. Make sure that you have clearance to exercise. I'm gonna do the low impact version. However, because this is advanced workout, I am gonna add some high impact options for those who have had it cleared by their doctor or maybe a partner or a friend is doing the workout with you. Of course, listen to your body and modify, rest, or stop if you need to. In pregnancy, you wanna make sure that you can talk the whole time and you're not getting too out of breath. We'll start with a warm up before I set the timer. Let's bring our feet apart and we can start circling our arms, taking some deeper breaths. Let's bring them forward. Couple more here. Good. We'll come into a sumo squat and then we can stretch to the side. We're just moving it slowly at this point, getting the blood flowing. Last one here. Let's take it for a step touch. Good, and we'll warm up our hamstrings here. Doing some glute kicks. Do a couple more here. Good, we're gonna warm up our hips. You can shift your weight to one side and then we'll circle one leg up, keeping your core engaged, pulling your baby into your spine. Good, one more here. We'll switch to the other side. Last one, good. Let's roll the ankles here. Going both directions. Other side. Perfect. All right, hopefully your body is feeling warmer. I'm gonna set the timer now for 20 seconds of movement with a 10 second setup. The first exercise that we're gonna do is a knee thruster. We'll do that on both sides. Then we're going to move into a curtsy lunge and then back to a regular lunge back and forth. We'll do that on both sides and then repeat that again. So let's set up for knee thruster, shifting your weight to one foot, pulling your core in and go. We can set up on the other side. Ready, go.
set up in a curtsy lunge position. Keep our weight back. Setting up on the other side. Repeat those exercises. Take a breath, go. Setting up curtsy lunge, go. Getting a nice 90 degree angle with your front leg. And go. We've got 30 seconds of rest here. If you'd like, you can grab your weights. I'm gonna grab two five pound weights. For the first move, we are gonna hold them up and do a half squat, keeping low. Then we'll move into lateral lunges, then lunges with bicep curl. We'll repeat those on both sides and repeat that series twice. So we will set up for our half squat, feet nice and wide, toes out, and up and down nice and low. Chest stays high. Setting up for lateral lunges. Elbows come up. Turn to the side, find a nice lunge position, and we'll come up, bicep curl, lower down, go. Setting up on the other side.
taking a wide stance again for half squat. Go. Starting on the other side, this time for lateral lunges. Getting ready, lunge. Also starting on the other side for your lunge. Setting up. Finding a nice 90 degree angle. Awesome job. We can place our weights down if you were using the weight. For our next set, we're gonna do low impact jumping jacks. Then we're gonna do sumo squat, reach up on our toes. Then we're gonna squat, punch, and shuffle, hamstring curl, and we'll repeat that twice. So we can set that for low impact jumping jacks. If you wanted to do the high impact, you absolutely can if that's safe for you. Getting ready, and go. We only have 20 seconds here. Take a breath, set up for sumo squat. We can reach down. Coming up, go. Right up on your toes. However fast or slow feels good for you. We're gonna go down in a squat and punch up using our core. Get low, shuffle, curl, curl, go. We'll repeat those four exercises. Getting low, taking a deep breath here, and go. Awesome job. Setting up for sumo squats, reaching down, up, or you can pop up if that feels safe for you. Right 
setting up for squat punch. Let's start on the opposite side this time. Let's start our shuffle the other side. Getting low and go. Hamstring curl. got another 30 second break here. We can grab weights. I'm gonna grab slightly lighter at three pounds. Again, water bottles or no weights are also good for this. We're gonna do some lunge kicks here. You can kick full leg or just kick your knee up. And then we're going to do that on both sides and then pulse with tricep kickbacks. Or if you're not using weights, you can just pulse your arms back. So we will set up into a lunge position, bringing your arms up engaging your core and go also just bring your knee up if that feels safer heading up on the other side We can switch our legs. We're gonna find a lunge position here, 90 degree angles. We're going to tricep kickback as we pulse. Beautiful, let's switch sides. We're gonna repeat those. Let's start on the other leg. And go. Setting up in a lunge. Bring your hands back to your lower ribs. Legs are strong. Switching sides. Go. Yeah. 
release. We can place our weight down again. And we'll come back to the mat. Let's take a few big breaths here. Last one. Good. Let's take a quick water break before we do some yogi squats. We have a couple of different options here. We can go up and down 10 times in yogi squat, or you can find your way to yogi squat and just hang out there. Both are great for labor preparation. If you're gonna go up and down, you can bring your hands in front of you, find the feet position where you want to end up when you're down in your yogi squat. And then we're going to lower down and then come back up again. Chest is lifted. You could also use the wall to go up and down. And if you're sitting in yogi squat, feel free to sit on a block or a cushion. If your heels are popping off, that's okay. You could also put books or toilet paper rolled under your heels. Squeezing at the top. Last one, let's find our spot here. Press your elbows into your knees, shoulders rolled down your back, sitting tall. This is great for both lengthening and strengthening your pelvic floor. Breathing deeply. Awesome job. I'm gonna set the timer now for two more sets of Tabata. If you wanted to grab your weights, you can grab them and put them by you. So I'm gonna use three pounds. We can get set up here. For the first move, we're gonna do kicks and touch, or you can just do your legs. Then we're gonna do some tricep dips. After that, we will get carefully down into bridge, and this is where you can grab your weights. If you wanted to do bridge, we'll go up on our heels and then do one side at a time. And go. Core's engaged. We're gonna set up for tricep dips now. Shoulders over wrists, go. Setting up again for kicks. Taking a breath. Last set of tricep dips. And go. Just a few more seconds. Release out. 
Let's get down on our back safely. We're not gonna stay here. You don't have to worry about crushing your anakava. And bridge. Weights are optional. Lifting up on your toes here. We will go up. When we're ready to start, we will pulse here. I'm gonna place the weights down and you can keep both feet down or if it feels good to you, you can cross one leg over for one side. Keeping your hips even, not letting one hip drop down. up on the other side. We can take that foot down, roll carefully onto our side now. We're gonna set up here in a modified side plank. Alternatively, you could lay on the ground here. We're gonna take one hand up and we're going to oblique crunch. Then we will side lift. We're going to do clamshells neck and then we're going to do rotate in and out. Setting up and go. Engaging as you bring your knee and elbow together. Releasing down, take a breath. Setting up again. Lift. Release, breathe. Lifting up for clamshells. One more here. Release down. Setting up to rotate in and out, lifting ankle up and then knee up. You're doing awesome. Releasing down, let's switch to the other side. Release down, take a rest here. Deep breath. 
can also stay lying down. Last one. Rest. Setting up for clamshells. One more. Turning in and out. You can see I'm shaking here. Release down, awesome job. That is the end of the Tabata section. I don't know about you, but I need to stretch that out. Let's come up onto all fours. If your wrists are bothering you, you can also be down on your elbows. Let's start with some, some hip circles. You can start to make them bigger, stretching out through your glute. If it feels good, you can sit back, stretching it out. Take whatever movement feels good. Switching directions. Beautiful, let's come back up to a neutral spine. We'll do some cat and cow arching up. Really feel the stretch through your lower back here. Should feel good. Inhale, look up. Keeping your belly pulled in to protect your core. Good. Coming back to a neutral spine, let's take one leg out to the side. And if it feels good, you can take the other arm out we can release down to the elbow, let that hip drop down and stretch through your groin and through your chest. Deep breaths, especially into the back rib. Rocking back and forward a little bit. Good. Let's switch to the other side. Releasing your leg out, same arm out, and then lowering down as far as feels good for you. Breathing deeply. Bringing it back in when you're ready. We're gonna press up into downward dog. If downward dog doesn't feel good, you could also make an angle over a chair. If you're in downward dog, you can pedal out your heels. Bringing your feet together, we can press with our toes on the back of our heel for a little bit of a deeper stretch. Then if it feels good, releasing that leg up, 
can open up your hip, bend your top knee. If you're leaning over a chair here, you can take pyramid pose to get a similar stretch. Switching sides. And letting that top leg float up, opening your hip. If your wrists are bothering you, can also go down on your elbows here. Good. Let's come back down to all fours. Moving into cow pose, we can cross one leg behind, and then we're going to shift our weight back sitting into cow pose. If this is uncomfortable for you here, you can sit on top of a block, which will relieve some of the pressure of your hip. Let's sit up tall and we can take one hand up, one hand down, and then reach for your hands. You can also use a strap here or even grab one of your weights or a water bottle to connect your hands. Pressing your head into your Top arm, sitting tall, releasing through your hips a little bit more. We'll take one more breath here. Good. Releasing your hands, let's switch to the other side. Coming back to all fours crossing your legs the other way and shifting your weight back. You can always walk your feet out a little bit, taking your other hand up, reaching to touch your fingers. Feel free to use a strap here again. more breath. Good. Slowly releasing out. We'll come back to all fours. We're going to move into a kneeling lunge next. So if you find your knees bother you, you can roll up your mat or find a blanket for under your knees. We'll come up on our knees and then you can tap one foot forward and then shift into a lunge, tucking under your tailbone for a nice psoas or hip flexor stretch. You can stay tall here, or if it feels good, you can come down onto your hands or even your elbows. You could also prop yourself up on a block here if that feels good. Finding length in your spine, breathing into your back ribs. One more breath here. Good. Moving out of the pose. Let's move to the other side. Shifting your weight forward, tucking your pelvis. Feel free to stay here, or if you wanted to come down, feel free to come down. Take one more deep breath here, banding through your back ribs. Especially at the end of pregnancy, there's probably not a lot of room to expand. Baby squishing into your lungs. Coming up. And tapping back. 
So you can come down on our knees or if cross-legged is more comfortable for you, feel free to sit cross-legged. We're gonna do a chest opener here. So walking your fingertips back behind you, keeping your core engaged and lifting up. This is a stretch for your chest and shoulders, not a back bend. Beautiful, release down. Let's clasp our hands and stretch out our upper back. You can stay on your knees here, or again, feel free to move into a cross-legged position. I just wanna stretch out through our ribs here, lifting up and over, creating space for baby. One more deep breath here. Good, let's switch to the other side. You can even reach up, place your hand there and breathe into your ribs. Good. And coming up and we'll find a comfortable seated position. I will read the pregnancy card for the day, which is, I take action on the things I can control and I let go of the stresses out of my control. Thank you so much for joining me for that advanced pregnancy workout. I am sweating. I got a great work in and I hope that you did as well. I would love to know what you think and how challenging you felt that was in the comments below. I will keep making pregnancy workouts every week. If you like videos like these, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe, hit the notification bell and to support me, share this with another mom friend or pregnancy community that you think would enjoy it. I also have lots of free resources for pregnant moms that I will link to in the description box below a complete guide on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor, a pelvic floor guide on how to prepare your pelvic floor for birth and the fastest recovery after, a pregnancy meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian. You can also grab your copy of the pregnancy yoga card. Thank you so much for joining me again. If you like that workout, I'm gonna to link to another Tabata style workout that I think you would like as well and the whole pregnancy playlist. You can save it and come back to the different workouts whenever you like.